Hey Fixers and welcome to today's video about Python's built-in round function. So this is meant to be like a simple introduction uh, into one of one of the most frequently used Python functions. So the built-in functions they are really uh, very very um, frequently used and uh, in, in basically in any project you will find a number of Python built-in functions and there are 50, 60 built-in functions you need to master all of them to become a great coder. So um, the built-in round function Per default, it takes one argument. So let's maybe open a code share. And run this. So if we, like the, the, the most basic use, okay, now we have a name error, sorry about that. Okay, so the most basic use is uh, to use it with one argument, so say you have uh, 3.14 and you run it, it will round to the full integer here, okay? So it's a very, it's a built-in function, you don't need to import anything, you can just just uh, put in one number and you get out the rounded uh, number. And it's per default, it rounds to zero decimal places. But there's also a second optional argument that you can define and this is the number of digits, it, uh, or short n digits. And this is the number of decimal uh, digits used for the rounding. So for example, if we set it to one, we get the return value 3.1, right? And we can also like round to like 3.14159, I don't even know, but I think these are the first numbers of, of the number uh, P, uh, pi. And you can set n digits to two, for example. You can do the same, like copy this and set n digits to three, and then we obtain three digits after the decimal point. And you see n digits just gives us the number of digits after the decimal point. So this way you can round any number, any floating point number you put in. And in general, so if you have a floating, if you put in a floating point number, you get out a floating point number. And um, if you po if you put in another uh, number of a di different type, like for example, you could use the nim NumPy float 64 type or so. If you put in a different type, you will get out this same different type. Okay, so usually the type will be the same. The mapping from the input to the output will be the same. There's one exception though, uh, and this is if you if you if you have if you use rounding with which you have already seen in the first example without an n digits argument. Now it will take the default n digits zero, and in this case n digits zero will just round to an integer value okay so um, so this you you should, should just have to remember otherwise uh, the input and the output types are the same and there's also one one um, interesting observation I found when uh, preparing this video and this is if you have a number like this uh, 42 42 point so 4242 point 42 42 like this number you can also set n digits to a net negative number and now what does it mean so let's try this uh, try setting it to minus one and now you you can see like like this one would be the third position after decimal point this one the second this one the first this one would be the position um so zero would mean that we don't have any decimal point but then this one would be the first position so the minus one, the first negative position after the de decimal point. So we just travel into the other. So, so like we, we like by traveling. So maybe let's have this, this as an example. This one would be minus uh, the position minus four, position minus three. So we inc increment the position by one each time we move to the left uh, for a number. Position uh, minus uh, minus two, position minus one. Position zero. This is if you round, uh, uh, if you round without, uh, so with n digits uh, set to zero, it will just remove the decimal point. But then you can also round this one. This would, would be position minus one, and if you set n digits to minus one, it will round this number uh, to the next, like to the next, um, like either to zero or to uh, basically the next uh, larger number. Okay, so you can see it here, right? So we so we round the number of. We can set n digits to even round decimal uh, places before the decimal point. And this is like very unique, I think, uh, and you, you you should know it. And sometimes it may be useful, for example, if you are not really interested in like in dollar amounts, individual dollar amounts, you just want to say, say you have a number like uh, your net worth, say it's one million twenty three thousand four hundred fifty six something like this and now you want to run and actually you don't you don't care about this twenty three thousand in the end so you can simply put in a round and set n digits to 
say minus five for example this would then result in a clean one number one million okay and it like it just just takes the the um, uh, fifth position before the decimal point and rounds to the fifth, posi fifth position. Okay, so it's very simple use, the round function, uh, it's, uh, it's very frequent in, in mathematical computation. You also can use NumPy round, so for example, if you import NumPy as NP, you can also call NP.round, and this simply, and you can put in a number here as well, something like this, it, it works similarly, but uh, you can also round arrays, for example, like um, you can pass an NumPy array say of three values like this and then you get out a number of so multiple uh, rounded numbers okay so the NumPy round function is a bit more flexible it also allows array input array like inputs like lists or NumPy arrays as input uh, for the round function but otherwise I mean usually you don't have to import any library you can just use the Python built-in round function to do some basic mathematical computations uh, with this and for example if you want to round all values in a list so say you have a list of those values I just copy the list I I used here. We can, for example, do the following. So, if you don't want to import any library, we can simply set a list round to. We use list comprehension. We apply round x for each x in our original list. Yeah, something like this. And this would also result in all the values uh, being rounded one, two, three. Yeah, like the same values. Okay, so this is how you could even replace the NumPy round function for some simple arrays, for example. Of course, if you have nested arrays and matrices and so on, it becomes more complicated. It also works uh, with pure Python without importing NumPy. But then again, why using pure Python if NumPy can do it very easily? So NumPy round function is a bit more flexible if you want to do advanced rounding. Then I would recommend you use np.round. Otherwise, you can just use the built-in, out-of-the-box uh, round function in Python. Okay, thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.